23,000 people over two days. Visitors learned traditional dances from a Japanese instructor. They later formed a circle and danced to Japanese music, including pop tunes. I like the dancing very much. The movement is difficult, but it's interesting. It's important to practice at home. A Russian instructor of traditional paper folding, known as origami, demonstrated how to create good luck charms and wallets. A vendor selling fish-shaped pancakes filled with sweet red bean paste attracted a long line of customers. Japanese restaurants are growing in popularity in Russia, and many young Russians have gained a keen interest in Japan through animations and comics. And that wraps up this edition of NHK Newsline. I'm Kaneko Sakno in Tokyo. Thanks for joining us. The Milky Way. It is a band of light made up of a hundred billion stars and is how our galaxy appears when seen side on from Earth. But from above, the galaxy looks like this. The disc-shaped spiral takes 200 million years to complete a full rotation. Furthermore, the latest observation data shows that the galaxy moves in a very dynamic fashion. It is said to have something to do with a mysterious substance that is thought to exist in the universe. But what exactly does this mean? We'll discover the surprising truth of our weird and wonderful galaxy. One researcher took on the tough challenge of creating an accurate relief map of the galaxy. Hiroyuki Nakanishi is based at Kagoshima University. He explains that trying to create an overall picture of the galaxy is like drawing the whole mountain when you're standing in the middle of it. ここに田舎にして何とかして山の形を調べるというのが今の銀河系の構造を探るま一つのテーマになってます。Nakanishi decided to study the distribution of hydrogen gas in the galaxy using a radio telescope. Hydrogen is the main substance that forms stars. It emits radio waves which can pass through obstacles such as dust and can therefore be observed. By observing the strength of the radio waves that reach Earth from all different angles, we can find out how gases and stars are distributed throughout the galaxy. In doing so, we should be able to discover the shape of the galaxy. In 2006, Nakanishi published a map of the galaxy as revealed by his observations. This is what his findings depicted. The black triangular space is the area where data is missing. Earth is located here, as indicated by the shining dot. The light blue shows the highest concentrations of gas, while navy and purple indicate low levels of gas. The cross-section of the galaxy shows that the disk is not perfectly flat, but actually slightly warped on the edges. The right edge curves up nearly 5,000 light years away from the rest. Meanwhile, 
On the left-hand side, it first slopes down 3,000 light years, but then curves up again on the outside edge. Why are the two ends of the galaxy warped in this way? Another scientist is trying to solve the mystery of the distortion in the galaxy. Leo Blitz is a professor at the University of California, Berkeley. Blitz thought that the reason for the warping of the galaxy perhaps lay in the Magellanic Clouds, located near the Milky Way galaxy. The Magellanic Clouds are two dwarf galaxies. They have a combined mass of around a 50th of that of the Milky Way. At first, Blitz thought that the edges of the Milky Way were warped because they had been pulled by the tidal forces of the Magellanic Clouds. An example of tidal force on Earth is found in the ebb and flow of the tide caused by the moon's gravity. This force acts not only on the side facing the moon, but also on the other side. If the same kind of force were at work between our galaxy and the Magellanic Clouds, the right edge would turn up and the left edge would drop down. However, when Blitz continued research based on this theory, there was an aspect that could not be explained by tidal forces. This is an image he created using observations of gases in the outer edges of the Milky Way. The heights have been emphasized for illustrative purposes. The Magellanic Clouds are positioned here, just like in the previous image. The right edge on the opposite side of the Magellanic Clouds does indeed curve significantly upwards. Meanwhile, although the left side does appear to be generally curving down, the outermost edge rises up. It was impossible to cite the presence of tidal forces to explain why the left edge turned upwards. What then caused the Milky Way to become warped? Blitz arrived at a conclusion. The Milky Way is very dynamic, as is the warp. Just take a look at that pizza, just like what's happening with the pizza. Here, the pizza dough is rotating. But if you look closely, it is rippling like a wave. Ripples can also be seen in the observed data of the Milky Way. Blitz proposed that the warping is a snapshot of one instance of this rippling. If this was the case, however, what was actually causing this rippling movement? Again, he looked to the Magellanic Clouds for the answer. The mass of the Magellanic Clouds alone couldn't cause this rippling, but if you take into account another substance surrounding them, it's a different picture. That substance is dark matter. Dark matter refers to a mysterious substance that has not yet been detected directly. It exerts stronger gravitational forces compared to ordinary matter made from atoms and molecules. 
Dark matter is thought to be present around all galaxies. The Magellanic Clouds orbit the Milky Way over a long period of time. Blitz posited that while they do so, the gravitational forces cause the dark matter around the Milky Way to oscillate. This is a simulation created by Blitz and his fellow researchers. They calculated how the Milky Way would ripple under the influence of the Magellanic Clouds and their dark matter. Their findings showed that over the course of 1.5 billion years, the Milky Way undulated up and down nine times. With its complex movements, our galaxy is a far more dynamic celestial system than we could have ever imagined. These large, jewel-shaped orbs adorning the eaves are dried persimmons. They make for a colorful scene that can only be seen in late autumn. Farmers take special care to grow these persimmons. Each step, from harvest to sun drying, is done by hand in a time-honored way. These farmers carry on a heartwarming custom with which they express gratitude for nature's bounties. Satoyama, a place where people